Yeah, anything like that. It doesn't look like much, Kelsey, but it's really drastic in the way it feels in your hand. I've heard of hitters changing the weight of bats over the course of a season, especially in the warm and humid summer months. But I've never heard of a batter changing the handle of his bat like Dansby is. We'll see how he does with it. I'm sure they still make uh, a model that is that basically has no knob. It, it does just a little bit. Right. Well, the Jackie Robinson model was a real fat handled bat. Real fat and had just a little bit of a knob at the base of that. But there was another one too that was not quite as fat as a Jackie Robinson model that um, might also be a, an alternative. Brad Ziegler comes in and strikes out Dansby who's 0 for 4 today. And there's the first out of the ninth inning. Miami on their way leading 9 to 4. Ryan Flaherty's going to get a chance to hit. The bats have been few and far between for Ryan with the acquisition of Jose Bautista. He went a whole week between plate appearances for the Braves. And at one point led the league in hitting. But another versatile valuable guy for Atlanta who can play anywhere on the infield and can play the corner outfield spots in a pinch if you needed him to. And can certainly pinch hit. Nine four Miami a six run fourth has told the tale in this one. Sure. Some unanswered questions for the Braves in this game. First and foremost the health of Ender Inciarte. Absolutely. If for whatever reason he can't go and again I'm not speculating that he won't against the Phillies. Braves feel very comfortable having Acuna play center. He's played there before. He played there a lot this spring. He can play all three outfield positions equally well. Yeah, but you lose a valuable left-handed bat. Right. And it's taken low. Just the way he hit the wall was so different than uh, even for Ender. He, he kind of jumped into the wall and didn't have the time to brace himself. It was almost like there were two separate collisions. He hit the wall and came to a sudden stop and then I don't want to say concussed but he was stunned after he hit the fence. Then he fell backwards and almost without it bracing himself hit the ground hard. See how his elbow Bang. see how his point of his elbow though hit the wall. You can see his shoulder come up from the point of contact with his right elbow when it hits then his shoulder moves really strong upward toward his head and then his head kind of snapped. That's what scared me. Just think if the walls weren't padded. How bad that could have been. Sharply hit and through Flaherty took off with the pitch. Albies has a base hit Atlanta has him first and third with one out. Two hit game for Ozzy. One thing you got to respect about the Braves, they don't quit. This would be a remarkable comeback, but you know what? Eight years ago today, we thought the Braves were left for dead. Playing the Cincinnati Reds at Turner Field. Braves were down nine to three in the ninth inning. Brooks Conrad came off the bench and hit a pinch hit grand slam. The Braves walked off ten to nine. So one of the great scenes in Turner Field history. So we're not dead yet. Here's Acuna. Two hits two RBIs in a run. And he chops one down the line foul. The greatest part of that was Brooks Conrad had no idea the ball was over the fence. No he thought he was caught. He thought that it was caught right there. If there was see a, his teammates coming out <laughs> to celebrate. What? Run! It's a grand slam!
<laughs> Looks Conrad was one of the really good guys too. Was, that was just hilarious that day. And both the Braves and Reds left town after the game. I'll never forget. We got to the airport and our bus pulled up next to our Delta Charter. The Reds were parked by theirs and Dusty Baker was in the front seat. Marty Brennan Brenneman or Hall of Fame announcer was in the second seat and they were both just sitting in their seats looking down in stunned disbelief an hour an hour and a half after that game thinking how did that one get away. But it did. Oh and two. This is a sometimes tough spot for a closer. Number one Ziegler hasn't had many opportunities but number two this isn't a closing save situation for him. Sometimes the closer stuff is not as sharp. It was eight to four when he started warming up and he was fully heated up when Rojas hit the home run to make it nine four and it's obvious that uh, Don Mattingly said He's up, he's warm, bringing him in, even though it's not a safe situation. Two balls, two strikes. Fly ball center. That's going to get a run home, but it will cost the Braves a precious second out. Acuna with a three RBI game gets credit for the sack fly. Flaherty scores to make it nine to five. So the Braves cash in the one out walk. And now Miami has to deal with Freeman. Hopefully Marcakis too. Freddie's two for four with an RBI hit. Braves and Phillies tomorrow night. Nick Pavetta, Mike Fultonevich. First pitch 7:05. We will join you with Braves live. The Braves look like they will stay in first place, barring a. Huge comeback by the Phillies who are trailing 5 1. Aaron Nola started that game in St. Louis. Dodgers all over Washington 7 2. The Mets won 4 1 over Arizona. The Mets with a three game sweep. They could climb over Washington. One ball, one strike. Freddie and the Braves down to their last swing here. Next 13 games for Atlanta versus the Phillies, Red Sox, Mets, and Nationals. We know how good the Braves have been against the really good teams. We hope that will continue at Citizens Bank Park tomorrow. And their good road work. Yeah, that'll be a clash of titans. The Braves 17 and 8 on the road. Phillies 16 and 6 at home. On ball, two strikes. Just a bit inside. Ziegler wanted it. And away full count tip of the cap to Ryan Flaherty this inning he's been sitting on the bench for a few days hasn't had many opportunities bottom of the night hey get it get in at bat against Ziegler and instead of phoning it in he worked a walk and got this all started so nice going Too close to take and Freddie bangs that right toward his manager Brian Snitker who spun out of the way. Albies at second three two pitch. Freddie hits it to the right side. Nice play Rojas race to the back. It's out of reach of Ziggler. He got stepped on, and Ozzie will come around and score the sixth Atlanta run. Freddie puts it in play. The game 
is still alive and the Braves are down only three now and let's see how healthy Ziegler is. Those add on runs boy. That didn't look like that bad a feed. He just whiffed on it. Oh. He didn't get stepped on. And Freeman's ankle turned as he got to the first base bag. Ziegler had a, a good enough toss from Rojas. He should have caught it. So it's a 9 6 game. And Ziegler has to throw a few more pitches here. Ready takes off. Ball one. Oh boy, he sure did roll it. So the Braves with four more runs from the seventh inning tonight or today, giving him 84 for the year. And slice down the line foul into the alleyway. One ball, one strike. Braves need another base runner to bring the potential tying run to the plate. Freeman credited with an infield hit has a three hit game. No RBI. The error accounted for Albies scoring. So Nick and the Braves again down to their final strike. They had a marvelous sixth inning at bat against Chen before singling home the second Braves run. Got to go in protect mode here. And again, that's what makes him so tough right now. Lefties don't bother him. Righties don't bother him. As you said, Joe, he has such great strike zone vision right now. He is not swinging too often. It pitches off the plate. I don't know if Real Muto was hopping out from behind the plate because he thought the game was over or just to be in a good defensive posture. I thought that ball was well off the plate. The 2-2. Up the middle. Freddie's going to score. And the Braves, believe it or not, bring the tying run to the plate. Incredible. And how much does Ziegler have left in the tank? Left it up. He got a ground ball. That's his stock and trade he wants ground balls but there have been several hit this inning just found the right hole Mattingly's going to take him out I didn't see anybody throwing down there but apparently somebody is getting ready and Ziegler will depart with three runs in Marquecas aboard and Tyler Flowers coming up as the scheduled hitter. 9-7 in the ninth. Well, will a remarkable comeback be this story on Braves Live presented by Xfinity? We'll find out next. Atlanta's making a great bid down 9-7 here in the ninth inning. They're down to their last two outs. A Tehran started the game. It was Julio for Atlanta. The Marlins <laughs> are hoping their Tehran will end it right here in the bottom of the ninth. Check out the innings. Check out the strikeouts. Tehran Guerrero can bring it. He's upper 90s fastball and slider. He'll be trying to come in and blow Tyler Flowers away. This man throws downhill. 6'7, 214 pounds. And like Julio, is a native of Colombia. Julio's from Cartagena. Tehran Guerrero from Boca Chica. If Flowers can reach, Kurt Suzuki would hit for the pitcher. 9-7. Braves have one out left. 
And Marquez takes off as that pitch is way high. The advantage this gives the Braves offensively when uh, Ozzy, uh, Freddie, and Marquez have now gone to second base uncontested is it just makes it harder on the defense. They've got to go to first base more than likely for an out. No force play at second. And here's what else Don Mattingly doesn't know. Tehran Guerrero before this season had pitched in exactly one big league game. He throws hard, but he's never had a chance to save a game. Yeah, these are not spots that he's accustomed to. Two balls, no strikes. Another base runner would bring the winning run to the plate. Remember, it was eight years ago today the Braves faced the impossible dream. They scored six ninth inning runs to beat the Reds 10 9. If the Braves can score six in the ninth today, they'd win 10 to 9. And Flowers has been very patient ahead in the count 3 0. Made him throw a strike, and he did. At 98. 3 0 count needed to throw a strike and it's easy gas. Do you make him throw another one here? No, I'm hacking away. This is my pitch right here. Looking for that fastball wherever Tyler likes it and try to get on top of it. Won't matter. Ball four. And the Braves have a chance to win it with one swing of the bat. And Kurt Suzuki is going to be that hitter. And if we've said it once, we've said it a hundred times. 98 doesn't bother this guy a bit. He's the last position player left on the bench for Brian Snitker. But with this pitcher, you got to like the matchup. What Chip just said. Two on, two out. And the Braves pull off a miraculous comeback. Suzuki, the man of the hour. And Guerrero ready with his first. Line drive, a base hit. Marquez will be waved. It's a one run game. Like we said, this guy can hit a fastball. He can hit your fastball, his fastball. It doesn't matter. Bang. First pitch on time right off the bench. So on the Avis is going to come out and talk to Guerrero here with Camargo coming up. You've got Kurt Suzuki in the game. <laughs> Do you pinch run for Flowers here in the event of a base hit to try to get it tied and worry about it? Certainly a consideration. But as you said, there's no position players left. There aren't. Uh, to go back to why the Braves kept pushing those guys up to second base, they kept picking up hits and RBIs as a result instead of going first to third. So Flowers represents the tying run. Suzuki represents the winning run. Camargo is in the batter's box. And a big conference right at the top step of the dugout yeah. trying to decide how to play this here from a base running standpoint for the Braves. Yeah, Snit and his staff are going over the lineup and his scorecard to see what they might be able to do. Well, the man that has the best arm is Anderson in right field, I would think. As Camargo digs in and takes high ball one they were playing deep to prevent a double now they have to come in the outfielders Brinson has a good arm too we've seen that but it was a little erratic one ball no strikes more action in the pen for the Marlins and that one all the way to the backstop high ricochet back to the mound single could win the game. Wow.
was that ricochet when Camargo was running the other night? <laughs> well, he's hitting, so he's even. We'll get it back. <laughs> right. Another one of those ties it. How about a base hit down the right field line and let's head to Philadelphia. Ecstatic. 2 0 count. Ball three. I'm not sure why they're even pitching to him. You know, his run doesn't mean anything. He's a switch hitter batting left handed, but Swanson's on deck, a right handed hitter. I guess he doesn't trust him to be able to throw enough strikes. Taking here, I would think. Yes. Not close. Two walks and a single, and the Braves have him loaded. And now it's Dansby Swanson's turn. And I would assume, Joe, he has the luxury in this spot of taking a pitch or two to see if Guerrero can find the zone. A walk means a run. I would. I wouldn't be in any hurry. And that's not being defensive. That's just trying to be smart to see if this guy can throw it over the plate. He threw one over the plate to Suzuki that got ripped. Everything else has been wide. Dansby is 0 for 4 with a couple of strikeouts. You know he'd like to make his return to the lineup. A game winning one right here. And because of that he's got to exercise a little patience. He's got to look for a good pitch from this hard thrower. Who's not throwing the ball over the plate. And not just be excited about the moment. Guerrero out of the stretch his first fly ball foul strike one at 97 miles an hour the Braves have four ninth inning runs to make it a 9 8 game they can win this one and if the Cardinals can hang on at home over the Phillies it could be a game and a half lead in the East. No balls and a strike. Ball one. All this started with one out. Flaherty with, as you said, Joe, a big league base on balls. Albies a single. Acuna a sack fly. Freeman and Marcakis base hits. Remember, they had the third out at first. Ziegler couldn't handle the throw. And then the floodgates have opened. Pitch. A little late at 98, his best pitch since coming in. And, and out of the zone. Talked about him earlier today about how maybe the toughest adjustment to get reoriented to is a hard thrower. Getting that timing back. I'd be shocked if they threw him anything but a big fastball here. A ball and two strikes. Almost hit him. Whew, that was close. That was not a situation where you say, well, we'll take one for the team. You tie it up. <laughs> but that might set up that outside corner. Uh -huh. Dansby was going good. That was right in his wheelhouse. Got some room on the right side. The 2 2 pitch. Fought it off. Too close to take, and he got enough to stay alive. Well, it's understandable to hack at that one when you've already got two strikes on you. The one before was a little bit too far to reach for. Good job there to stay alive. All the runs in this inning are Brad Ziegler's. The base runners belong to Guerrero. Flowers the tying run. Enciarte the winning run at second. And now a 2 2 pitch with two outs for Dansby Swanson is on the way. Good at bat. 99 off the plate, and he still got a piece of it. With every passing pitch, Dansby, you figure, is getting a better look. The runs that mean something, the runners are both catchers. 
They've shortened up in right. Brinson creeping in in center. Shuck way back in left. They don't think Dansby can pull him. The 2 2 pitch. Line drive! Oh, there it is! Oh, and the Braves walk off 10 9! Six in the ninth inning and stuns an opponent winning on their home turf 10 9. Brooks Conrad had the run of his life. Today, Dansby's running for his life. <laughs> and the Atlanta Braves somehow, someway win this series against the Marlins. They have, for the moment, a one game lead, and all of a sudden, Joe, a ton of momentum. As once again, this ball club under Brian Snitker did not say die, scoring eight runs in the seventh, eighth, and ninth innings to stun Miami. Incredible. They got three hits. They got four hits and two walks after two were out. What a day. And what a welcome back for Dansby Swanson, who's got to catch his breath as Atlanta will head to Philadelphia with a 28 and 17 record. Dansby's got to cool off. And this ballpark roaring a moment ago, I think Joe is absolutely stunned like the rest of us. Well, I, for you folks that went home, I'm sorry. You missed the greatest comeback in SunTrust Park history and one of the greatest in Atlanta history. And the man at the center of the attention, Dansby Swanson, who's standing by with Kelsey. Dansby, wow, take a breath. All righty, you go into that at bat. You have a guy who's having a hard time throwing strikes. You know a walk can tie it up. Are you going into that at bat a little bit more patient, or what is your mindset? Same as every other at bat. Um, biggest focus in those kind of situations is just breathe, relax. Uh, the adrenaline and everything will come. You know, if you just do your part and relax and stay with, with your plan, you got a good chance to succeed. So try to breathe a little bit extra that one. You know, you take so much pride in your game and what you're able to do. You come into that at bat 0 for 4 on the day. How much better does that make it feel when you can come through in your team in that way? A six run ninth inning for you guys. Happy flight. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's really the first thing is, is has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with everybody else. And without everyone else, we wouldn't even be in that position anyways. And I can't say enough about how much I love these guys and they're like family to me. You know, we talked about that. and. Uh, they're always there for me. I'm always there for them. And just to be able to do that right there is incredible. Every win is important. Every series win is important. But to be able to win in this kind of fashion and have this momentum to go on the road trip, you guys are about to go on a very important one. What does this do for you guys? Uh, obviously, it puts us you know, right where we need to be. Um, every win is a good win. And this one just happened to be a walk off. So uh, we're just going to keep rolling. And, and like we talk about every day, you know, we're going to come out tomorrow and do what we do, go how we go about business and uh, hope for success. So. Dansby, congratulations. That was so much fun to watch. Go get some water and go celebrate yeah. with your team.